Today we'll be looking at formation flying and how to maintain close proximity following the team leader and his commands. These commands are given with precise accuracy as to what is demanded of the pilots following. Three, two, one. As you hear, the team leader is calling out the designation he demands of the pilots behind him to maintain close proximity during carrier takeoff. As he climbs, he will explain what is needed. Alright, five degree climb, go up to 300 knots, holding at 300 knots. Five degree climb, straight ahead to heading 258. It is important to listen to all these commands. Smoke on. Even if they seem a little ridiculous. Before any of this, there is a small meeting held between the pilots to determine the appropriate course of action of what their formation is going to do. 1000 feet. Hold at 600. Six hundred achieved, three twenty knots. Let's buzz the airport. As close as we can get, three hundred knots. Formation flyer requires many small movements of a throttle and control stick to maintain safe and close proximity to the leader and the other aircraft in the formation. Sometimes you will have to lag behind to maintain a safe proximity. Not lined up very well, but I'm going to make a sharp turn to the right, right over the runway. Tell us when. Now. My break to the left was already predetermined as part of the display. Now let's listen in as the team leader explains the necessary timing it takes to maintain a formation. Let's try to maintain 300 knots through the turn. We're at four miles out. Five, four, three, two, one, turn left. The leader has chosen to turn left, whereas I have to turn right to maintain the formation when we hit the yeah, runway. Pretty hardcore, trying to maintain my speed. Out very well. Going back to 300. Four and a half miles out. Three hundred knots. Three and a half miles out. Three hundred knots, one point five, four, three, two, one, zero. As I look over my shoulder, I notice the leader is coming into perfect formation with my cross traffic smoke trail for the display. Coming over the top, I am forced to go in to do an inverted roll and push up, throwing the blood into my head and causing me to red out. This is okay as I know that I need a certain amount of altitude and I push into it and then pull back to allow myself to see again. This concludes the basic steps it is needed to maintain formation flying and work in a display team. I hope you have enjoyed these few minutes. I look forward to seeing you in the sky.